a surprise. Okay. That I've been preparing actually kind of for a week, sort of ish. Y- you had said <laughs> before we started the show that it would be fun to do cold opens for the show. Yeah. And I don't remember if you recall what my response was. For those who are just listening, he's reaching deep into his black backpack. Brother, we can do as many cold opens as you would like. (laughs) (laughs) I'm trying. I'm trying. (laughs) I would like to do multiple cold opens all weekend, every some every weekend this summer, like the whole. Oh hell yeah! I would like to do many many cold opens. Oh hell yeah! Whoa! <laughs> hey, yo! Hold on, you take the tag off, bro. Uh, no, 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 no. Well, okay. I mean, I yeah, let's keep them on. <laughs> yeah, why not? I can't see shit. There's like things on the inside. Yeah, yeah, huh? You know, I yeah. can't see anything. Brand new. Hey there, wow. So now. <laughs> what a way to start. Hey, and welcome to the first episode of The Meantime on Adobe Radio. This is going to be our cold open. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? These are non-alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just I just thought it would be nice because right now it's the first episode. People are wondering if this show is going to be a good vibe. Gee, I wonder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Wow. We're going to get absolutely not wasted <laughs> on this stuff. <laughs> I would have to drink a gallon. Wow. What a great way to start. I so thought, if you're, I thought uh, you'd like that. <laughs> so if you're just listening at home... Uh, Pat went into uh, <laughs> went into his black backpack, pulled out uh, non-alcoholic cans of beer and pit vipers. <laughs> so please be watching this and not listening, because it's not going to do it justice. I thought it'd be great to start our radio show with a visual bit. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! Welcome to the first episode of the Meantime yeah, on Adobe open. Radio. The that's a cold open. We could get six cold opens wow. done before the episode's <laughs> over. That's what I'm saying. That's what get a couple lukewarm opens oh, by the end yeah, of the show. Yeah, I what. put them in the freezer this yeah. morning. Let's get some hot opens. <laughs> get a nice hot toddy going. This is uh, this is a show. This is our first episode. Um, I'm Jared Gaines. I'm Patrick Gilchrist. Uh, I'm a songwriter producer um, from New York, living in uh, Studio City. Uh, yeah, that's that's basically that's that's kind of my shit. Yeah, I sing in a band called Not My Weekend. I live in North Hollywood officially. It just moved, and that's Pat, and that's his me. voice is slightly different than mine. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't freak out! Don't, don't freak, freak out! out. <laughs> uh, right, and I do a, a artist project called Rat Park. Yeah, um, and uh, we're kind of just kind of hanging out, talking about everything that happens in our lives, uh, making music, playing shows, doing content, making music videos. Uh, production k-pop writing sessions is going to be one that i talk about today i got a, a very funny brief um or oh, actually i got some notes from a song that i did uh and then everything that happens in between in the meantime in the meantime likewise i'm looking at you in pit vipers with the tag on i'm thinking god you look so cool and yeah. as i'm doing it i'm remembering that i am wearing, <laughs> I am wearing, I am wearing, wearing pit, pit vipers, vipers with the tag on. wow what last week i brought my laptop and my iPad in my backpack yeah. to set a precedent that I would bring my backpack. Okay, just so to, <laughs> just to member, <laughs> so that, just so to make that sure you member, so that when I brought my backpack this week, yeah. you wouldn't go, "What do you? What do you have that? Well, why for? do you have a backpack?" <laughs> and, right, and there could be six cold opens wow. in there. That's incredible. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. If you're uh, if again, if you're just listening, this is a very much a visual bit. I mean, this is. Nothing that you could possibly understand. It's also extra funny because if you don't, if you're just listening, you don't know I look like Joe Dirt. <laughs> so like, that's that's adding a lot to the uh, to the aura in this room. Are we allowed to be drinking on? I mean, again, it's not alcoholic. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how do you feel God. about uh, first episode? How you how do you feel about getting getting into it? Because the last time we we had oh done a test God. episode, we've done four test. We've episodes. done four or five test episodes before they decided they liked us enough. Long time coming is. Uh, an understatement. Sorry right. to say, hit the thing and say coming. Um, <laughs> the we filmed a test episode in this studio at Adobe Radio over six months ago now. Yeah, 
Uh, we yeah, let's definitely start this off by being upset with the people who hired us. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was thinking about that too. Yeah. You know what's funny? I was thinking about like <laughs> for six months. <laughs> Like, spit it out, Gilchrist. What are, you, what are you talking about? Adobe Radio is saving our fucking lives. <laughs> like, like we were both about to be homeless and fucking dead. Yeah, that's true. Like, that's like true. a month and a half ago, yeah. we were about to be... Kind of reopened for me recently. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, this... A month whole, and a half ago like, and also two days ago. But, like, they're hiring us. Yeah. And, like, we need it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and not just not just because they're paying us or anything, but if I wasn't gonna do something actively, I was I was probably gonna figure something out. <laughs> and it's just like the whole time we've been like, I mean, yeah, if you're down. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, yeah, that's true. But the but the energy should have been like, or the energy truly is like, oh my god. If Th- there were ever a possibility. Thank you, angel wearing jeans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is going to be a pretty fucking common theme, I think, in these episodes, is that Pat is going to only tell jokes where the punchline is, I know the punchline in my head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, to yeah. understand that, you would have to understand that I tried mushrooms recently for the first time, and I had a horrible time. <laughs> it was not fun. Right before you did that, <laughs> I said last time one of my buddies did mushrooms, I was awake with them until 7 a.m. talking about their relationship with their dad. And I all but did exactly <laughs> yeah, the I know. same exact thing to you. You called I, me at midnight that <laughs> night, and I was like, God, the fucking here we go again, Grand Theft Auto meme. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> CJ San Andreas. Yeah, um, I, uh, I had a tough time. I had a rough go at it. And, uh, fuck. I'll tell you what, cheers to that, by yeah, the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Put some cold ones on the concrete, huh? It's another thing that only you and I know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. But hey, everyone knows it. They just don't know they know it. That's true. Um, so I uh, I dropped mushrooms for uh, for the Elden Ring DLC. Me and my roommate were really excited about playing it. And he was like, oh, I want to do some mushrooms. It's so fun. I was like, oh, you know, I've always wanted to try that. And then I tried it, and I remember me and Pat were coming home. We did some work here. And we were gonna edit some uh, some some videos that um, that were like some promo kind of scenarios, and I, me and me and you were sitting at my dining room table, and I look up and and Reese, my roommate, is dancing. And yeah. He dances into the room, uh-huh. and I feel myself going. I have I have a very strong urge to dance, and then I taught uh, Pat the dance that people are doing on TikTok to Tommy Richmond's "The Devil Is a Lie." Yeah. And as soon as I sat down, I'm talking about we're doing a choreo- choreographed dance in my living room. The minute I sat down, I went, oh, okay, oh, okay, it's okay, yeah, <laughs> it's all right. I looked up and I went, oh no. And then Pat went, uh, hey, dragon wearing jeans, <laughs> yeah. are you feeling the same way <laughs> I'm feeling? And it was exactly how I was feeling. I was like, hey, excuse me, pocket man, is there any <laughs> any chance that you're feeling weird like I'm feeling weird because you look weird? You got to explain pocket man too. Pocket man's crazy. My younger brother, uh, Jace, I called him and I told him about this shroom trip that I had, which was wild, wacky, and crazy, and lasted so long, <laughs> way longer <laughs> than I thought it was gonna last. Uh, I called him and I go, uh, I'm like, yeah, I was seeing crazy stuff, and and Jace goes like, like I kind of feel funny. What do you think, pocket man? <laughs> and and then he described to me that the pocket man isn't a man with a bunch of pockets or something. That's what I thought. <laughs> which is, I think, what immediately he was like, no, 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 no. I'm sitting in the pocket. <laughs> And I look up at the man whose pocket I'm in, like the breast pocket of this man, and I'm going, I feel, I feel very funny. What do you think, Pocket Man? <laughs> <laughs> and that's, I definitely felt Pocket Man about it. <laughs> I, rem- I remember it was like six hours into you feeling bad, and Nick was like, good, you're about halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, it's like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I think the whole day I spent saying that. I was going, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, at one point, I was sitting at l- alone at my house, and I didn't notice that I was alone at all. And I looked up, and I was just alone in my house, and the walls genuinely started closing in on me. Yeah. So I was like, I know what I'll do. I'm gonna walk to Ralph's outside in the dark. Uh huh. And as and I was walking, walking outside, the whole my whole life turned into the first Harry Potter movie, where they're dropping Harry off at at the Dursleys' house, and it's all spooky outside. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dumbledore swore to protect him and then left him at an abusive family's home. Yeah, well, he was just like, I don't want to, mm. you know? He's like, y- it'd be like like if I tell you, like, hey, dude, if you ever need anything, you know? Oh, and then you yeah. need something? Yeah. Ugh. It's tough. God, I did say that, didn't you I? Hear those, you hear those guys playing video games, and they're like, I 
I can't wait to not be there for you for <laughs> what you're going through. You know, what I'm <laughs> I can't wait to know that I could have changed that outcome. Yeah, could you <laughs> suck it up, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to commit to the pit vipers for the whole ep? I w- I didn't even notice I had them on still. <laughs> They're such a part of me now. Yeah. I feel like I don't remember a time where I wasn't wearing them. I bought them at the 7-Eleven when I got our drinks oh, this morning. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell They're yeah. more expensive than I thought they were going to be. $24 each. Fucking, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was pissed. I was oh, like, I perused. I was like, thank God you laughed so hard because I was like, man, if he doesn't think this is funny, <laughs> this is going to suck. Could uh, you imagine you pull them out and I act like I I act 50% of the time, which uh, is, what the fuck are you doing? Dude? Yeah, that would have been a huge... No, I'm I not ge- going to wear those. I, genu- <laughs> I genuinely had that as a concern. I wouldn't have cared if they were five bucks, Yeah. but as soon as they were $20, I pictured all the versions of you saying yeah. it wasn't funny, and I was like, Gah. Or like you were really excited to wear them the whole time. I put it on for two seconds and put them down. Well, I'm I'm already, I'm noticing them. I don't wear a pit viper. You're not. You're, you're noticing them. <laughs> not me, dude. I was, kind of, I was born my mom. I was mom's born in the viper. darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Raised them. <laughs> Raised <laughs> I was born, I was pit born in a pair of pit vipers. You merely adapted them. I was born in a pair of pit vipers. <laughs> I was born in a pit of vipers. <laughs> <laughs> a little baby coming out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys, got, uh, you guys got Pong? <laughs> <laughs> little, little baby. What's up? I'm just slinking around. I learned it's, how to slink down there. It's like Boss Baby, but like <laughs> Pit Viper Baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They do they do a bit like that on Simi Valley, Real out, Bros of Simi Valley. I found out recently. I haven't seen the Boss Baby movies. No, of course not. I found out recently. It's like the soul of someone else trapped in the baby. Oh, it's like Wade I thought it was a super smart baby. No, it's like a dark thing, or it's like a spooky thing. It's like I I didn't. I, I was just watching a TikTok, and they're like, "Yeah, it's like like the spirit of someone has been trapped inside this baby." And I'm, oh, no, oh, damn! In that kids movie? Wow, I just didn't know. I don't think it's that dark. I don't. You know? I, I don't. I don't think if you were watching it, you'd be like, "Oh my yeah, god!" Yeah, right, right, right. They probably paint it in yeah. such a way. He's like, yeah. "Oh, drat! <laughs> oh, bubbles!" Because he can't swear anymore. Yeah. Wow. Yes. The meantime, beers make you burp a lot. It's just, just it's a carbonated beverage. You know? I don't. Uh, maybe I just I'm so used to soda. Did you just slam some Sprite and then a little bit of beer and then and I got, you're like and I'm burping and, and then got com- and then got confused. Got confused about it. <laughs> um, well, thank you so much, Adobe, for having us. I mean, I was joking about. Well, I wasn't joking about you saving our lives, but I'm stoked to be here, whether or not you're saving our lives. Yeah, I mean, what a fun time this is. Uh, Look, I guess we should get into what the show's gonna kind of be about. And um, oh, we were talking about when we tried to do it six months ago. Um, and they almost put that up as the first episode. Yeah. But we were, we, we did a test episode six months ago and we're just talking about stuff from then. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, we're like, welcome yeah. everyone. November of 2023. Yeah. Let, let us What's read something that we wouldn't have known back then that we know in <laughs> six know, months in the future. We know now. What's something that happened recently? <laughs> oh, and you know who my favorite rapper is? Drake. <laughs> <laughs> you know, who's, you know, who's never done a bad thing. Oh. And you know who I think could never fall from grace? Yeah. Drake the Rapper. Oh, my God. Dude. <laughs> it was a, We did a whole episode. You know about who I haven't heard from in a while? Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> and I don't think, you know, I think he's going to chill yeah. for a while. You know? You know? The last record he had. Maybe, maybe, a, maybe a new Kendrick album 2025. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. You know? You know? I don't think. But I'm not waiting on it. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm not going out of my way to buy it. You know what I was thinking about? What a nice time it was. When Drake and Kendrick toured together, yeah, just oh to my see, god, just to see those two as friends. Oh my goodness, yeah, like what a what a one two. I hope they collab soon. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was. And you know who doesn't back down from anyone? J Cole. <laughs> who doesn't? He doesn't back down from a fight. That's what I know about J our, Cole. That was our episode six months ago. Yeah, <laughs> and then I Adobe's like, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and post this one, and we're like, no, no, uh, no! <laughs> we, we, I would. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend. Don't! <laughs> Please! Is how I would feel <laughs> if they were going to. A whole episode of us. God's plan. God, I love that song. God's plan. <laughs> Bitches calling my phone like I'm locked up. No, stop. I, I saw a video of a guy that's like, you know what sucks, man? You can't listen to those anymore. <laughs> I know! It does! <laughs> you can't because now you know him. I know. Now you know who he but is. You can listen to Not Like Us over All and the over. Time. And over again. Oh my god! And I do. We could talk about how this is the best summer ever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is. So, um, we're labeling this summer. Well, at least I am, and I'm hoping it catches on. This is hot dog summer. Hot dog summer. I- I'm not sure if anyone feels it. 
I know that we feel it. Something's different about this summer. It's a good summer. This the, summer is starting to simmer. The Kendrick Drake beef is the greatest thing that happened in music. That is incredible. Right. A lot of good music is coming out. Tommy Richmond, this uh, this Kendrick Lamar thing. We got a lot of new music. The, uh, the Hawk Tua meme right at the, the start of Hawk summer. The Hawk Tua spit on that thing? Crazy. Wild. What a summer for, for everyone. <laughs> for everyone. For everyone. Congrats to us all. Wow. <laughs> We're really out here doing it. Um, yeah, there's a lot of great new music that's coming out. Yeah. I have a whole oh my playlist. Goodness. Sabrina Carpenter stuff is awesome. All the Sabrina Carpenter stuff. It's so good. And l- there's just a bunch of fun stuff to listen to. Yeah. Um, and yeah. Summer So Hot by Upsall. Uh, Summer So Hot by Upsall po- is a, ra- a great po- one. Post Malone's putting out an album called F1 Trillion. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah, the album art is, is a, is a F-150 doing a fucking you, nosedive, you know, dude. You know what I think this summer's going to be like, he said? An F-1 Trillion. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and just all of his label and management had to be like, uh, yeah. well, now that you've said it, Damn, I, I can't stop saying yeah, it. I can't let you not call it F1 Trillion. Because <laughs> what would I suggest you say? Yeah. I, like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> F-152? Just, just, right, there's just... You, once you label anything as being like a billion or a trillion of something, yeah. you can't suggest they call it like like the 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 wavelength summer or you know yeah, what I mean? Right, like yeah, you just yeah, can't yeah, call yeah, you yeah. can't call an album like yeah. like butterflies in the night once yeah. once someone says what if we called it F1, F1 trillion. trillion. <laughs> I you know what I'm thinking too? Like how upset I'm going to be with uh, with everyone saying, did I just write the song of the summer? Because like the bar is so high. The bar is high. The oh. bar is high. So like if someone, if I see one of those TikToks is like, did I just write the song of the summer? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm usually not upset to look at those. You that know, I kind of check them out, but that's gonna make me so mad. I feel like it was easier to not get on a- my hot dog summer. <laughs> I feel like it was easier to get away with that over. Uh- over, over COVID, COVID for sure. Over 2020 because music wasn't coming out, songs, movies weren't coming Some out. Sucks. If you wrote the song of the summer, it was like because you were putting out a song. Yeah. And now so everyone's let me, back to competing. Let me figure out. Let me let me let me um let me run down why why it's a hot dog summer. Not only because of the music. Uh, number two, we're consuming hot dogs this summer. Um. Yeah. Okay. I actually haven't had one yet. Okay. I had it. Well, technically, yesterday. technically, summer hasn't even started. Can you even believe that? Summer? No. That, June, June 20th. Oh, I thought it was July sixth. I believe June twentieth was the first day of summer. All right. Well, the I just, day after the day after Juneteenth. Just lying about stuff. Yeah. Um Well, okay. So it's very early days of the summer. You yeah. have time to to slurp down some some hot dogs. <laughs> just suck down a hot dog. You yeah. can do it. You can do it. Um, we're eating. We're consuming hot dogs this summer. Yeah. Um, it's it's going to be a focus on doing a bunch of cool shit all the time, I think. Yeah. That's at least where my focus is. Yeah. You know, listening to cool, fun songs, eating cool, fun hot dogs, and going go-karting. It, I, I do feel an interesting phenomenon, and I've been thinking about this for a while. I don't like America. Yeah. I don't like capitalism. It's crazy. I don't like patriotism in general. Yeah. And then I'm sitting in Dodger Stadium with a hot dog. With a hot dog. And all of a sudden... <laughs> like it just <laughs> it courses through my veins. My pronouns are U S and A. Yeah, <laughs> I, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Also, all the hot dogs at Dodger Stadium are vegan, or half of them are. I feel like you didn't even say that strong enough for me to believe anything that you just said. The hot dogs on the middle floor of Dodger Stadium are vegan, and then the the bot- top floor and bottom floor are normal hot dogs. But if you wow. want, if you're a vegan and you want to go get a hot you dog, can you, can jo- hot dog you can participate in hot dog summer. You can participate. It's stuff. incredible. It's incredible stuff. Um, but yeah, I, okay. Let's talk about a little bit what the what the show is going to be kind of about because we're, uh, we're 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 apparently in our bio we're aspiring musicians. <laughs> I definitely thought that I was pretty fucking sick. We were it, just but. talking. We were just talking on the drive up how aspiring musicians is not about like it's not a commentary on our level of fame, but just our commentary on our ability to play guitar. Yeah, it's <laughs> like like we haven't learned how to do it yet. <laughs> <laughs> like like we just. Aspiring musicians means like, boy, one day I hope, you know, <laughs> <laughs> not my current nine to five job, but something that I really hope happens one day. Uh, head on down to the pod shop, get myself a six string. <laughs> get myself a little six string, dude. A little doodle around on that shit, dude. Hot dog summer. Uh, we're, uh, so I had a, I had a writing session and this is one that I, I wanted to bring up sure. at some point. Um, Oh, uh, we're in it now. We're in it. We're podcasting. We're podcasting, now. brother. I was in a we're off to the races. And uh, I'm Jared, by the way. I <laughs> <laughs> for those at home, I'm Jared. Um, <laughs> for those on the drive at five, I'm Jared. That's me. I'm Jared. Um, so we're um, we're in a K-pop writing session, 
And uh, those are if if you've if you're not familiar with how a writing session works, a K-pop writing session is a particularly interesting version of an already interesting thing that is a, a songwriting session. And um, we we get in and we make this song called. Uh, well, I'm not even going to tell you what it's called because I it's not released yet. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to tell you. I'm going to bring up the actual notes that we got back so that you can react to them. Okay. Um, but we wrote this song what's with a the bunch of cool people. What's the likelihood that the song gets released? A hundred percent. Do you want to tell people like when you're doing writing sessions what the likelihood is usually that it gets released? Next to zero. Right. Next to zero. If you're doing a writing session, at least if you're doing one with me, it's <laughs> next to zero that this song will be released. Okay? But I, I would say like the experience of most songwriters in LA is that you're doing a lot, a lot of writing sessions for songs that will never see the light of day. Yeah. Because you're doing a lot of songs for pitch, which I think, you know, a lot well, of people don't you know understand. I mean, some people comes in I, I'll, I'll tell you like the general the general rundown is that you're doing a song, uh, like a pitch writing session means that you're just writing a song to throw around in the ether and hope that someone likes it, right? Yeah. You can do a session for an artist. You're in with the artist or with the artist team or, or whatever, where you're 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 trying to get a, an actual song for a specific artist, and you're there. That's like the the best way to get a cut. Yeah. Is if you're in with the artist and you can make a rapport and and they're excited and you can you can um, uh, help them achieve their vision. I, almost all of the songs that I have cuts on were that, right? Yeah. Um, this is, uh, uh, and then there's like a sync session and those are completely different and I'll go into those when I know what the fuck I'm talking about about those. Sure. <clears throat> K-pop is, is a pitch session generally. You might, you're going to get a brief for who's looking, but, um, you're, you're basically just going in, writing a song, hoping that it's dope enough for somebody to pick it up. Mm. And then you might get a, uh, you might get a, a note stock back that has some of the funniest notes. So they heard, oh, hold on, oh yeah, I got them right here. They heard the track. And then the team goes, all right, here are the edits that we want to make to the song, mm -hmm. right? So let me run by some of these edits for you. Yeah. And again, I'm not going to tell you what the artist is, who the other writers were. Yeah. And uh, here it goes. Okay. It would be nice to receive arrangement ideas in a way that can make the chorus itself explode more refreshingly than it currently <laughs> does. Please modify the bass in a way that provides more power. No way! <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, I'm not the producer on this one. I thought, what a fun task for the producer to try to make the chorus Dude. explode more refreshingly. They're being genuine. <laughs> that's so real. Oh, my God. That's not, I think that's my favorite one, but there's a whole list Jared, of these Jared, here. Jared produces, Jared produces for my band, Not My Weekend, and my guitar player always sarcastically gives him notes that are unachievable. So uh, we'll be doing notes together, and I'll be like, snare louder, vocals quieter, etc. Something like like very practical mixed notes. And Nick, because he loves all the mixes, yeah. is always giving given a note that is just like yeah no more purple <laughs> if, can you make the low end more sparkly yeah yes <laughs> and that's that could bro. you make this all, the whole thing more intended like more refreshing like a diet coke like <laughs> it explode more refreshingly that's, yeah that's got to be like a diet coke. Like a diet coke like a sprite in the summer uh, Summer's we'd like to receive. We'd like to receive another melody idea with the first notes in a higher vocal range at the beginning of the chorus for a more blasting kind of energy. Blasting is quote quotes <laughs> quoted like, like you said it. Yeah. No. So earlier, in reference to what you had said, you, a you, more blasting energy. <laughs> It would be nice to get a new mix of the demo so that it's more uplifting and, in general, both the low and high notes are a little more upright. Upright. Like sitting the upright? vocal stack seems to be sufficiently stacked, but it doesn't seem to be expressed as richly as it is stacked. You're fucking with me. So it would be nice to fix it with the mix and build up more vocal stacks if necessary. No, you're getting pranked. This is a bit. That's like the same as going like, this a rap for you, round. <laughs> I'll let a round wrap around, around every wrap around till it wrap around. That's <laughs> for sure someone messing with you. Uh, you just don't know them personally, so you don't know whether or not they'd be messing with you. The vocal stack seems stacked well, but if you could stack them a little <laughs> bit more, we'd love to have it more stacked inside the stack. Like, are the, he said stack four times in yeah, one he sentence. Did. Yeah, he did. Someone there, you're getting pranked. Yeah, I, well, I don't know, man. Because, like, I, I sent it to my team and I went, hey, these notes are pretty funny. And they were like, these are some pretty hilarious notes, but these people are like that. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is like just some A&R guy. That's crazy. Um, all right, let me see. There's there's one there's one that I really like. Um, uh, okay, check it out. Additionally, the twist is good, 
but currently the transition from post to the bridge feels improbable. From from the post course to the bridge? Feels improbable. I guess. What do you think the twist is? What's the twist? So this is in reference to the bridge, right? Okay. I, I would say that uh, the bridge in this song is a departure from the rest of the song. Okay, so so I think, think he's he's going, this is a twist. You know, like this is where you where you like go, oh, check it out, surprise, new section. I see. But what he's saying is the twist is good, yeah. but currently the transition from the post to the bridge feels improbable. Yeah, indubitably. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. And what sucks too, like not to, I, I don't want to, you know, shit all over this guy. He's doing his job, but- yeah. And I understand what he means. Uh-huh. You know, like like I understand. Going I mean, from going from the post to the bridge seems like that's probably not how we're gonna actually do it, right? Yeah. Uh and he's he's wanting notes from that. I just think it's very um uh someone I got I got I actually I think I could pull these up. Uh from my team, they sent me other funny notes they had gotten in the past. Um and it was oh yeah, here we go. Um here here's some actual you ready for some actual notes. Mm-hmm. We love the melody, chord, and everything, but we feel like the song is too bright and has a vibe of lovey-dovey, lovely, pinky-pink kind of images. <laughs> saying that positively or negatively? Just saying that <laughs> at all is insane. <laughs> he said the vibe has is, is lovey-dovey, lovely, pinky-pink kind of images. You're going to love this. So what we want to do is keep the romantic mood of the track, parentheses, it's not like lovey-dovey romantic, but the romanticness of romanticism. The, can I read that? You can read that out There's loud if no you'd like. way, bro. You could read that out loud if you'd like. It's just a, it's a, like a weird, this is one of those things that makes you like go, this is a, what a fun job So what we want to is have. to keep the romantic mood of the track. Parentheses. It's not like lovey dovey romantic, but romanticness of romanticism. <laughs> With a bit of melancholy vibe instead of a loveliness vibe. Yeah, you don't want to be lovely. So you guys know. It's the romanticness of romanticism, so not you know, lovely. You know that you made a loveliness vibe. You And what we're looking for is like melancholy, the romanticness of romanticism. What I'm going to need you to do, maintain that loveliness vibe. Okay. Get rid of it. <laughs> and then after you've gotten rid of it, give it a little bit of melancholy vibe. Massage that in. Massage that in. Yeah. And make sure that melancholy vibe has a significant amount of loveliness. loveliness. <laughs> correct. That is correct. So there's there's that. So th- these are very fun um, notes. Here's another one. Let's make it bananas. Nothing average, so only put in what you'd play Kanye if he put a gun to your head and said, impress me, motherfucker. You're, no, there's no oh, shot. Sorry. Let me, no, there's let me, no let me get shot. Back it re- it recognizes me with the pit vipers I on think, my phone does. Yeah, hell yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, it does. Um, yeah. That's exactly... I, that's word for word. I gave you word for word what this guy had sent. Dude, what? Yeah. I feel like you And look, I'm not telling you did, who that guy is or who my team is. Did, or, you, did you write those to mess with me? I certainly didn't. You want to see the context of the conversation? Oh, is You can see that that my my people... God... This is. They said this is from another A and R that we just got. <laughs> I just don't know yeah. how to make it pinky pink. I, that's what I. Yeah. I just wouldn't know how to make it pinky pink. It's, is the whole. But they wouldn't call me to make it pinky pink. You know it, what I mean? Who? Um. I, this is us three right here. I don't want to impress Kanye. No, of course not. I don't want him anywhere near me. Impress me, <laughs> motherfucker. Like I don't think I would do music. I think I would like. I'd be like, I can solve a Rubik's cube. <laughs> No, I wouldn't take that. I, I I can solve a Rubik's cube. I used to be able to do it in under sixty seconds. Do you think? Do you not get a little worried that this person's a little out of touch? That they're using Kanye as their current reference? For I being would like, no. I wouldn't worry about that. I would worry. I wouldn't. I really wouldn't worry. That's the, to be honest. I would say like I would say that these people are their whole job is to send emails like that. Mm. So that's the equivalent of being like we're trying to land a Drake feature right now right now <laughs> they're like it's got to be funny like a like a Bill Cosby kind of funny <laughs> where it's just like a lighthearted and fun kind of funny it's got to do no wrong it's like gotta, how yeah, Bill Cosby would how do Bill no wrong how Bill Cosby or Kanye <laughs> would do it um just do it how you think Bill Cosby or Kanye would do it if you don't Bill Kanye would uh, who Kanye um <laughs> just do it just make a song that OJ Simpson could just 
yeah. roll down the windows in a Bronco too. A hundred, you know, <laughs> and just like we just want a song where OJ Simpson's just on the one hundred and one, not yeah. a care in the world. Sure, just driving, just driving, s- not away from anything, speeding, but not in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help but notice that you're not wearing the pit vipers that you you yeah, bought yourself. I'm not a glasses guy in general. I'm more of a goggles guy, and even then, I'm not wearing them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I do I have goggles so. with me though. Just if you have no, just be geared up. I'm saying. No, yeah, I'll gear up. Gear up. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah, yeah. Well, what are you doing? Yeah, you said gear up. <laughs> okay. My bad. Yeah, you're uh, you're right. You're bad. That's my bad. Okay. We're good. All right. Now we're back. Starting here now. Go. <laughs> Welcome back to the meantime on <laughs> Adobe Radio. Uh, we're talking about baseball, and we're... <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, okay, well, if we want to talk about my band, not my weekend, I was thinking that we could talk about that guy that made that whole Reddit thread about coming to our show. That is super duper funny. Yeah. Um, we, my band, not my weekend, opened up for Between You and Me at Chain Reaction a few months back. Um, and I was very excited. This is, like, maybe the highest compliment I've ever received in... Uh, my life. I could see why you would think about it like that. <laughs> but a lot of our friends were there. Um, a lot of people that uh, listened to our band were there just because w- we were in Anaheim, which is pretty close to L.A. where we live. So like yep. a lot of people that know us and that we're friends with and that I know listen to our band came out and stuff. Yep. Um, and it was like, I mean, in the top five sets we've ever played, just in terms of having fun, super fun, like people, good time, the people there were throwing were, down crowd interaction. People, people know energy. The, people know the songs on our new album. It was yeah. really, really good. Love that. Um, and I also like y- you've you've talked to me about this before on our tour with this wildlife and on in kind of our shows in the past. I I'm a very excitable guy, so I get a little bit too excited when things are going well. Yes, I think this played into it. This was the first time at a show not the first time but definitely i was getting more comfortable when there would be like crowd surfers and cool mosh pits sure and people singing along yeah more just being like of course that's what always happens yes as opposed to me like, getting on mic truly... and being like no way a mosh pit <laughs> <laughs> I would, oh for I, me yeah i would do that for shows and shows and shows yeah. i would do that yeah and this time partially just because i was like we were doing we were having so much fun and yeah. like doing such a good job that uh-huh. even just for the mosh pits and stuff, I was just still in it. I wasn't yeah. even commenting. I was just having a good time. Sure. And then, uh, uh, the next day on the Reddit group, uh, pop punkers, yeah. which I am not an avid reader of, but my mother certainly is. Okay. Um, a, <laughs> a guy left you. Should I just read it? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, All please right. read it. Yeah. I have it saved. Definitely have that pull up. I remember seeing this post, um, I think you posted it to your story or something, uh-huh. and I think it's maybe the funniest thing that I've ever seen in my life, like in relation to your band. Um, it's it it was just so it was such a genuine post from someone who went to the show, saw your band, saw people having fun, and went to Reddit and went. Pro- I mean, they're faking, right? There's gotta be no way. There's no <laughs> way, right? So in Reddit, you like. You uh you post your question as a prompt and then write the rest of your post. <laughs> the prompt is, do bands hire groups to go to shows? <laughs> right. I was at a show last night, and for the opening band, there was a group that was a lot more into them. That's than, air quotes for those ev- listening at home. Than everyone else. <laughs> they were all wearing t-shirts with vintage culture on them. Curious if anyone had ever heard of groups being hired to go to shows to initiate crowd surfing, moshing, general energy. Right. right. That was the first post. Yes. There's kind of layers to this because I believe what this person thinks is that they were all wearing shirts that said vintage culture, suggesting that maybe they were a part of like a separate company. Because ah. because none of the bands there were called Vintage Culture. Right. This is deep lore because the the co-headline of the tour was our friends in the band Young Culture. Ah. A group of their fans started a joke on Twitter months earlier. They do that. That people had accidentally called them Vintage Culture, and then a group of their of a group of their fans and friends and our fans and friends okay. made merch that said vintage culture. Okay, gotcha. So the, it makes sense that you would not know what that is, but also yeah. there was a large group of people Big wearing, inside joke, you wouldn't you wouldn't know it. Massive inside joke. Young Culture posted that the next day. Okay. Thinking it was talking about them. Sure. And I was like, "Oh my god, that's so funny." Like 
whoever this was for, it's crazy that anyone would think hilarious. Th- and hilarious just as a concept to think that like an opening band aside from like those rich kid bands yeah. would have the money to like hire people to throw down at a show. Nine of them just popped into my head. Like, oh, can't say that, can't say that, can't say that, can't say that. They've all sat on this couch, all sat oh on this couch. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> uh, and then the next day he said, edit. I was referring to Not My Weekend. Yeah. I, th- <laughs> I thought it looked like they may have been shooting promotional footage, so I was curious. <laughs> so this guy definitely went to the show. He saw you guys perform. He probably thought it was fine. He probably thought it was okay. Yeah. Because, like, imagine imagine going there thinking that you ruled and then being confused that the people were thrown down. Yeah, yeah. You know? He must have thought you were okay Pretty good. or bad. <laughs> right, right. So, and then he sees all these people and he's like, no fucking way. No way. There's no, no, there's no shot. shot, bro. No shot. Uh, and then he goes, he goes to Reddit and he does what he has to do. Yeah. I think that's funny. Oh, dude, yeah. Let me fucking, let me tell you something about Pat, dude. This is where we're going to get the name of the show pretty fucking spot on because I'm about to be mean as shit. Pat, one time, we were going to play pickup basketball, dude, at the fucking Crunch Fitness or LA Fitness oh, by dude, your house. Don't talk about this. You're, don't, I'm absolutely bringing this don't up, descri- bro. I was having a panic attack. Don't no. Descri- don't describe a panic attack like I'm glad funny. that you're telling. You should, you should definitely give the context to this because this was the lamest shit I ever saw in oh my, my entire God. life, dude. So we're heading out and we're going to uh, we're going to do a pickup game at LA Fitness. And it's, uh, it's me and Pat, some members of his band, our buddy TJ. We're all heading out. We're doing this thing. We're getting a day pass for LA Fitness. And we're, and we're driving there, and, and, and it starts raining. And I remember you had to go do something else yeah. that got rained out because it was raining out there. Yes. Um, do you remember what that was? A photo shoot, I believe? It was someone's photos. It was a it was a photo shoot. Or TikToks or something. That Pat was already going like, all right, we're going to have to make this like basketball trip kind of quick because I have this photo thing to go to. And it was a th- the type of thing that was not that big of a deal for you to, to have to miss or get rained out, or that normally you would be like, oh, thank God, we got rained out, I don't have to do this today. Yeah. And it started raining, and you immediately got so sad. Yeah. You were like, "It's f- guys, it's raining. Yeah. And we were like, yeah, dude. It's fine, man. Like I was like, is this a big payday for you or something? You're like, no. <laughs> and I was like, well, then what are you bummed out? We're about to go play basketball. You don't have to go to work. It's awesome. Isn't it great? Yeah. And then we get in there, and we're like checking in. I turn around. Pat is standing out in the rain, yeah. <laughs> like looking longingly to the clouds. And I, turn, I grab his drummer. And I went, can you believe this fucking, who does he think he is? Yeah. And I go open the door and I was like, hey, Pat, get in here. You're getting your vans wet. We're going to have to, (laughs) your shoes are getting wet. We're going to play basketball here in a second. And then we went inside and Pat did not play basketball with us. Yeah. We got the day pass and Pat did not play with us. I cut off a lot of people that day. (laughs) Yeah. I was like, hey, drama queen, get in here. What are you doing? No, I lost a lot that afternoon. (laughs) I remember it well. You know what I've been saying for years? What's that? And you know that I've been saying this. Yeah. It, and this, you know, this show does change this, this outcome, and in in a really significant way. I've always said for years how funny it will be when you and I get in our first physical altercation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I've also said for years that I've always imagined it with like our friends who are girls around. Yes. And kind of a big group around. Yes. And part of why it will be so funny yeah. is that you and I'll be like, "No, no, no dude. <laughs> Get off. Stop." But but part of why it's going to be so funny is because a lot of very actually concerned parties will be like, "Guys! <laughs> you guys know. <laughs> guys, stop. stop. Stop it. Stop." Right. And now that it's for sure going to happen in this room. <laughs> <laughs> it will it will still be very funny. Yeah. But it's going to be you, me, and like one producer friend of ours. Yeah. And it'll be funny because just like poor Sam or Nick Major. No, 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 no. You want to know the real reason it's going to be funny? Because I could tell you how it's going to start. <laughs> for those listening at home, I... Carelessly whacked the microphone out of the way as to stand up and start some, start some beef. <laughs> but just when that whole thing happens, it won't be like a, it, it won't be like a bunch of girls screaming, "Guys, stop!" And that'll make it funny. It'll be like one of our pals being like, "Yo, <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't cool." No, you'll, in the moment, got yo, yo, <laughs> dude. Wish you hadn't taken me back there. It was, it was. To be honest, to be totally fair, 
the fucking worst. That was <laughs> that sucked so we, bad. We, we got, I was like, hey man, I don't know what's going on. Get out of the rain. Got creamed in basketball too. <laughs> <laughs> Jared's, Jared's, oh. Jared's just forgetting that we got fucking we got, swept we too. Got stomped, dude. Like, and it was like, like a, a lot of my fault. All, all <laughs> that all that happened and we got dunked on a bunch. Yeah. <laughs> like, dude, do you remember uh I'm not sure if you were paying attention because you were moping hardcore. Yes. I I was uh, on a on an open layup, uh, like a breakaway layup, and I passed it to TJ, who passed it back to me for the classic like LeBron James, Dwayne Wade connection. And what I did was I dribbled the ball, picked it up, took a step, dribbled it again. Because <laughs> I was scared to do a layup in front of everybody in case I did it wrong. <laughs> I didn't want anyone to think I was doing going to do it wrong. Because I talked a big game about being good at basketball and that all my friends were playing basketball. They're all, none of them have asthma and I have asthma. That's what we're doing with Adobe right now. Yeah. Like, we can do radio. We can do radio. <laughs> yeah. People want to hear this. And then we're turning in this episode. People want to hear this. People. People would like to hear this. Want to hear this. Yeah. Fish did post on his story, this is either a fantastic or terrible idea. Oh, I texted him, I said, biggest mistake you ever made, brother. <laughs> That's unfortunate that you let us do this. That sucks. Like, you, like I don't care. Like, we're evil can evil. We get paid for the attempt. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> we, we are. <laughs> yeah, we don't. Uh, no, he's, well, we would be careful. because We're could be like, making money off he, of this one at the very least. I understand that, but he could say, like, you get paid for four attempts. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Look, man. <laughs> That's four more than I had. Six months ago. That's I'll tell you true. What. That's true. I feel great. We got McDonald's right before this. At McDonald's right before this. I got a, I got a spicy deluxe chicken McCrispy hot dog summer. Hot dog summer, dude. Um, I need to. Uh, speaking of working here, I need to. I'm realizing, much like road rage, I don't get road rage a lot. I you do know that. Oh, I know. You, I saw. I feel like I saw it for the first time. I know. I know. I know. I only do it like as a meme or just like not really. Yeah. But also because like people I feel like I saw it today too. Did I today? A little bit. When? Or at least you did like a, a dirtbag maneuver getting into the McDonald's. I, I just did a dirtbag maneuver. Okay, it okay, was, okay. It well, wasn't ragey. Th- no, that's my thing. And that's, I think, why I don't do a lot of road rage. Because it's frequently that you're the problem. I, I And I know I'm the problem yeah. and I'm not changing. Yeah. You know, so it's like, like, of course you're mad at me and I'll see you. I'm sorry. You know, yeah. that's just my energy about yeah. driving. But. I'm not in a lot of workplaces. I mostly work for myself. Yep. Or I'm mostly just working at home on something. Mm-hmm. Or it's just you and I in like a creative collab. Mm-hmm. I need to get better and not do workplace anger. Workplace anger? L- kind of like road rage. It doesn't really have a place to go and it's not really based in anything. But yesterday about our promo photos for this show, you texted me like, could you send me that Dropbox? And I thought, how many fucking times do I got to send this guy the same Dropbox link? And then I thought, no, no, I can just. Let me copy ask you a question. Paste. Did you ever email me the Dropbox link or was it a uh, text? Now, see, either way, my 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 workplace anger yeah. would go, you got that motherfucking link. <laughs> what I would say is you've only ever texted it to me and then you texted me 90 things about memes. And I get that. So and I get that. So get, get that. get away from me and of your is, entire face. I also looked through our text threads and our email threads and couldn't find it. So no, and quicker quicker for you to just send me that that Dropbox. And line. I understand that, and I did, and yeah. that's why the workplace anger is unfounded upon. <laughs> sure, one could say that you could click the info in our message thread, click wasn't on there. links, wasn't there, and and then and that's why was it in a group chat that we were in? Is no, was it in an email? It was either in a text or email. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Right. This is my No, because I'm telling you, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> you're, just, you're just like, no, I'm doing the I'm workplace. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Just fucking send me the link, right? No, I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm glad we got there. <laughs> Good. Wow, this was that. No, this. All right, that was the meantime. Not, not, <laughs> not me just also realizing this is a huge problem for you. Yeah. This is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying not to do workplace anger. I'm like, me too. It's <laughs> weird. We're both trying really hard. My workplace no, anger I, comes from... <laughs> but I also I also just do that a lot like with people that just ask me for to like repeat links. I can't. I know where the link is. I can't just send it to them again. But yeah. I do get like just frustrated that they have it. And also... Well, are you imagining that I'm just kind of sitting there like this? Waiting for you to yeah, send me the link? This is or, we, or maybe that I'd be like knee deep in a production that I'm no, in the middle and of doing. No, and this is... And, and, this is what we were talking about the other day that like I need to be, get better at. And maybe we, we both do. Maybe all people do. Maybe all but people. It just when I do assume that everyone, when I'm not looking at them, 
is just waiting for me to spawn again. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like, just going. I can't wait for Pat's life yeah. to start again. Yeah. No, you, Pat sent me. Uh, we have to get some promos done today. We got to. Yeah, take right, some photos, right after like, this. Right after this. Immediately after this. Uh, and Pat sent me like maybe the worst cropped photo I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, I know. Of I, that's this, what I said. of this really horrible it's, lasso tool. You're making them think that I said, "Hey, check this out." No, no, I no. I said it was. Well, so bad. you sent it to me. I sent it to you saying like it would be like this, but I don't know how to do it. I need your help. So he sent me the worst image I've ever seen in my life. Uh huh. And I was like. He was like, "Yeah, they they really need these promos. Like, we gotta we gotta get this done in a way where it was like, Jared, are you gonna like you're gonna have to do this?" Uh, and I was we use those. We I was say. in the middle of something else, mm. right? So I was like, "Oh well, if you could just send me the the Dropbox link, maybe I can like, maybe I can sift through these, or maybe we could just take take some tomorrow." And then Pat at his house went fragging, fragging, yeah, fragging, yeah, yeah, fragging. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I killed this cold open, by the way. Oh my god, you want to do another cold open? Uh. Yeah, I would start another cold open before we cold closed. Yeah. I'm drunk. <laughs> You're not. There's nothing in there. Fucking wasted. <laughs> I, this is weird. It's weird. Yeah. Maybe it's because the lights are low. I just think. I just. Oh, full alcohol <laughs> in these. Wow. That's why it was so good. Non alcoholic alcoholic. 0.5% is how they make it because you need alcohol to make beer. Yeah, you need Don't it. You, don't you feel like people that work? The don't person. you work that feel like people that work normal nine to fives? Like just have that person that's like, you know what fucking Christine did? Yeah. Even though Christine that didn't can't really be me do. though. Hmm. <laughs> We're the only two people doing this right now. It can't, and, and it yet, can't be me. That's and that. Yet. And yet, <laughs> <laughs> and yet it, and yet it must. And yet, who else would it be? <laughs> that's, if not you, would it be me? <laughs> Would you <laughs> would you prefer it were me? <laughs> I know we wrote an article um announcing our show saying that we were quote unquote so laid back we're horizontal. Yeah. <laughs> which I read that and I was like, it is so good for us. Yeah. That that is their perception yeah. of our content, mm -hmm. our show, our personalities as people. Yeah. And much like what we were just talking about, how other people just wait for us to perceive them again. Yeah. If only they could see us. Do they know that I that I last night um, naked screamed on my floor? <laughs> like, anytime you're not, anytime we're not filming literally what you're watching, Jared's just going, why did we film what they're watching? <laughs> <laughs> no, what? like, <laughs> delete it. <laughs> it's, it sucks. <laughs> you suck and I suck. And they're going to know I'm gay. <laughs> they're going to find out I'm a fraud. I'M NOT GOOD AT ANYTHING! And then Adobe's like, these two don't have a care in the world! <laughs> these two- these two couldn't be not funny if they tried! And they both like girls, they, 100%! Uh, they both skate through life on the rainbow road <laughs> without a trouble in their, uh, without a tr not a trouble in their peripheral! <laughs> you can- you cannot say peripheral. You- you don't know how to say not that Not a trouble in their side view! <laughs> Not a trouble not a in, care the, in their heart. Not they're, a, they're floating through life like a cartoon character being they, led to buy. They couldn't. <laughs> they don't have a care in the world. <laughs> Troubles never found these two. It can't catch them. They <laughs> Jared specifically. <laughs> Jared, Jared specifically doesn't have any hard opinions Jared, about the government. <laughs> Jared specifically said, when it comes to this radio show, they can do no wrong, <laughs> and every moment of it will be posted for your viewing pleasure. Jared gets mad at Pat when he takes it too seriously. And when he takes it not seriously <laughs> enough. And when he takes it the perfect amount of serious... He just gets weird. <laughs> I'm just assuming like that we're doing something wrong. <laughs> and it's it's what makes the stuff good. All right, one more cold open before we before we get into this last thing and let's 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 snag. One more, co oh, one more cold oh, open. Oh, oh, oh. All summer cold open. Vipers on, brother. Look, it's it's a it's the episode of um Freaks and Geeks, the second episode. Where they do the kegger that's non-alcoholic. That is unk status. But I'll all tell you what. Damn. Damn. Uh, but all the. Okay. Cold open. Cold open. One, two. Oh god. Oh god. These guys are horrible. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>
They're so laid back, Jared's drunk. Two non-alcoholics in one ep? Okay. <laughs> Take Two that. NAs in one EP? Take that, blogs. <laughs> what do you have coming up? Like, in like, what kind of work are you doing? You Go, know? Going on this week, I've got a couple different edits i got to do for the Bank Galactic Empire. Okay. I'm always posting for them. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got... Uh, I've got to turn in and receive some songs back for mastering for a new Not My Weekend thing. That's true. That's coming true. Up. Love that. Um, and then it's my birthday on Sunday. I'm on turning, Sunday. I'm turning 29. Turning the big 2 So, so I got to party a little bit. Got to party a little bit hard. You got to put some cold ones on the concrete. And then, and then I guess we'll be talking about, well, we'll be talking about birthday things probably around episode three because we'll have to film before then. Sure. But yeah, I'm stoked. Yeah. That'll be fun. How about um, yourself? Uh, this week, I, I have tons of sessions um we're we're doing the session in which we're going to tackle those oh, notes the, from earlier yeah, which is notes. super duper funny um and that's going to be super dope and i think w- it's really going to be one round of notes and then and we're back to 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 getting the song released and having my first k-pop song so that's gonna be exciting um some one-on-one artist sessions uh dermatology appointment that's gonna be pretty sick they're gonna look at the skin tags on my armpits yeah um i should get one of those you should you should get one of those it'll be cool the the appointment not the skin tag yeah you should get a skin tag on your armpit um then i have boy oh boy we're gonna be doing some some probably some social media clips and stuff this week i gotta get back on my tiktok game for promoting oh you know what actually Hmm. we just got the website back for poor thing Oh yeah, that it's looks done. Good. We we can do like the flyer video. We have a plan to do um, for my newest song, "Poor Thing" by Rat Park. Check that out. Yeah, we're um, there's a, we 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 got a website made, and we're gonna go put up flyers with a QR code and pass out some flyers and hand them out. It's a good it's a good website. It looks it's, good. Uh, it looks good. It sounds good. There's two uh, two different buttons on there, and one says "Click here to get rich quick," and the other says uh, "Click here to save your soul." Yeah, and and they both uh, like link to either social media or the streaming link. Yep. Um, and that's pretty fun. Uh, so I, I think I'm gonna get started on plans for that. And yeah, I think that's 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 pretty much it for for me this week. That's pretty good. We'll it's talk, gonna be fun. We'll talk about all those things that happened in the meantime. Whoa! The next time, on the meantime on Adobe Radio. Oh, incredible! Well, thank you guys for tuning into episode one of this thing. <laughs> yeah. And uh, no apologies. I think we fucking killed that shit. That was Likewise. sick. That was sick as fuck, dude. Good, good cold open. Good cold open. Good couple of cold good, opens good, in good there. Good couple of cold opens. Good couple of cold opens in there. We can't do that same cold open every time, but we can bring the beer every time. We can. <laughs> we can. Yeah, <laughs> cheers. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, we'll catch you uh, next Tuesday. Stream Jared's band, Rat Park. Stream my band, not my weekend. Love you. Bye. Bye.